Okay, today we're working on our 2003 Honda Odyssey minivan. Guess what? Transmission issues. No surprise to people familiar with this vehicle. So, uh, we have 230,000 miles on this one. We've had the transmission rebuilt about 100,000 miles ago. Lately we've been, uh, we have a check engine light. Trouble code is saying torque converter. And uh, I had it in the shop and um, basically was told torque converter is, is going. So driving symptoms, we're agreeing with the uh, torque converter issue. We have a high rev without power um, between second and third gear, I think. We were getting a check engine light. We were getting a um, traction control system light coming on. Um, one thing I did, there's a solenoid down in there kind of behind the, uh, I'm shining the light on it. Hopefully you can figure out where that is. If you look uh, below the battery, it's actually just, there's the um, transmission fluid dipstick. It's right underneath that. Um, that's one of the solenoids that I already looked at a couple weeks ago. The screens were fine on that one. There's also one up in there. I have not gotten at that one, and I don't know if I will. Um, that was kind of a pain, but uh, anyway, there it is. Um, look down here underneath the vehicle. <clears throat> There's a couple more, and I pulled away the plastic uh, cover just to get at these things. And there's a couple, I uh, look like barrels, sort of a solenoid right up here. There's one that's still in. This one, I was able to actually get it loose. There we are. I was able to get it, get it loose, but it's obstructed by the body of the transmission here. It's impossible, it seems like, to get it out. So I left it, I put it back in. There's one that is next to it, that goes next to it, um, right here. I've got that one out and I'm going to show it to you. Another one, this is the one that I really wanted to get at, is this one that goes, uh, let's see, right here. Okay. Um, that one, there's four screws for that one, and it's a little bit of a pain to get at them. But if I can do it, you can do it. It's a, a 10 millimeter socket is what we'll get at those. So here I've got that barrel solenoid and I've, I've already cleaned it up a little bit but you can see the ports on the side they're open and the, the screen right here on the tip on this one is clear so that that's uh, something to check um, the, the other one that I took off that's this one here that I, I showed you has the four screws and stuff um, what I'm seeing on that one actually is uh, encouraging because I'm hopeful that this is going to help um, solve our problem. So right there is a screen and I don't know if it's going to show up well, but on mine it's just full of crud and there's no way much is flowing through that. So hopefully we clean that up. Put it back. I'll swap the fluid out again, and we'll see what happens. So here's the deal with this uh, this thing here. There's a gasket, and the um, I just pulled the gasket out, and that screen um, came out with it. Now another thing um, before I forget, I want to show you. There's a little tube, one of these little tubes that has a screen in it, and that actually is in the spot at the transmission where this um, this uh, corresponds to. So you have to kind of, you want to check that because that little screen can get clogged up as well. Mine actually was pretty clear. It was amazing that that's so clear and this one was not. I've cleaned this one out now. I just sprayed it with um, carb cleaner and dabbed it with a Q-tip and stuff. 
and that looks good to go. Another thing you're going to want to do before you put the solenoids back is check them. And you can actually do that um, with a battery. So I have this, um, this is an extension from my charger. And it happens to just fit in those terminals. If you don't have something like that, you can just use any kind of wire. Um, just something to be able to, to hook up and uh, touch onto the battery terminals. This is how you check the solenoid to make sure that it's working. And you can see it ch uh, clicking in there. And I touch it to power it. So that solenoid is working, so that's a good sign. And also this little barrel solenoid can do the same thing. It's going to be a lot harder to see, but you might be able to yeah, let's see if I can hold it like that. You can kind of hear it. Inside that thing is plunging back and forth. So that both those solenoids are working. I cleaned them up, so I'm going to put them back in, and uh, we'll see how it goes.